Hi everyone, my name is Katie Kim from our Arts 2000 E class. This is my video for the I Artist project. For this project, I chose to use acrylic paint and canvas to create a painting to go along with the purpose of art that I chose, which was that art helps us appreciate things more. For my painting, I chose to draw a boy holding a pair of binoculars with a kaleidoscope effect showing through the lenses. I knew that in order to achieve my message, I wanted to implement a lot of color and shapes that could sort of imitate everyday scenes in our everyday lives. I started out by sketching the binocular shape and also the shape of the boy. I wanted a third person point of view facing the binoculars from up above because I knew I wanted the binocular lenses to be the focal point of the painting, so I tried to exaggerate the difference in size between the binoculars and the boy. Then I looked up some inspiration for kaleidoscope shapes and colors since it had been quite a while since I looked through a kaleidoscope and I wanted to be able to reference to something. I ended up settling on a super intricate colorful one, although my final product actually ended up looking a lot more different. Then I started sketching out the basic shapes in the lenses just so I had a relatively good idea where I wanted to put everything. Then it was all drawing out the details. It looks fancy now but I promise you my painting definitely ended up being a lot simpler in the end. While I'm sketching, I'll talk about my artist statement and why I chose the artwork that I did. As a kid, I've always been fascinated by kaleidoscopes and I knew that I wanted to somehow incorporate an aspect from my childhood because I feel like when we're young, we have a greater appreciation in general for the smaller things in life. I also knew that I wanted to incorporate the looking through a lens type of image that we often see. And I chose binoculars instead of an actual kaleidoscope shape just because I thought binoculars would be easier to interpret for audiences who see my painting. Also, whenever we want a closer look at nature, generally we tend to use binoculars, so I thought that was a very familiar object. I chose to do a gray background because I wanted it to provide a stark contrast against the color I was going to use for the binoculars. After that, I used black paint to outline the binocular shape. And then I added some other more simple details like the hair on top of the boy's head and the boy's clothes. Then it was time to paint the shapes inside of the binocular lenses. This was definitely the most tedious part of the process. Um, I chose to use acrylic paint because it's the form of media that I'm most familiar with and I think it's easier to achieve vibrant colors. I started with the pink flower shape and then I added the details on the inside of the flower and slowly started to work around the flower as well. I chose the colors that I did because I thought they were very representative of some of the colors we see outside and also I just like the brightness of the colors themselves and also I just like those colors. Using a lot of color was important to me for this project because whenever I imagine the world and I imagine appreciating the world, I imagine it to be extremely colorful and bright. For the circles, I used the opposite end of my brush because I found that that was an easier way to achieve the round shape just because all I had to do was dot it with the paint. And then I added the other larger shapes and started painting in the background. Um, I started painting the background of the binoculars. Midway, I realized that I definitely should have painted the background on first because, because it was actually extremely difficult to work around the paint that I had already put on. But yeah, then I added more details with the orange and just kept on painting. And last but not least, to finish off the painting, I went ahead and painted in the hands of the little boy on the sides of the binoculars. And then I finished up with some finishing touches and painted in all the uh, blank spaces between the gray paint. And yeah, that was basically um, my project. This is the finished result. Um, overall, I would say I'm pretty proud of the painting. 
Again, it ended up being a lot simpler than I had imagined initially just because I realized it was a lot harder to paint in all the tiny little details that I had originally had sketched in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I look forward to seeing everyone else's work. Thanks for watching.